Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Invaders Approaching. Ah, oh, my goodness. Yes, welcome back to Stonehearth, where in today's episode, my primary goal is to finish the Town Hall. What we will do after that, who knows? It may take us the entire episode to get there, but we will get there. Now then, first and foremost, let's deal with these invaders, shall we? Yes, I think we probably should. And to do that, we're going to have to make sure that you've got your job. Uh, let's uh, get you down there right away. And hopefully that will lead to Big Al grabbing their correct tools. Now, you've got your shield. Great. Uh, will you be ready to head out there? There we go. Marvellous. Now, Big Al should be a lot more defensive due to the shield. In fact, let's have a quick look at Big Al's uh, set of there. Big Al is just weathering quite a lot of damage without much, uh, much problem to show for it. Let's have a look. Uh, defense plus one. Now, if we have a look down in the tributes, is defense actually shown? Uh, no, not really. I'm not exactly sure what one means in terms of defense. Is that a high amount of defense? Is it not? I really couldn't say, but it is definitely better than nothing. Right, there we go. Now, I could use some of the thatch to go ahead and upgrade these. Now, this is definitely something that comes from the Ace mod. I don't believe you can just straight up upgrade uh, furniture, which is already been uh, been placed down in the, the base game. I mean, it's a really really good uh good uh ability there that's why i went ahead and i placed the beds in here because i can just tell them to be upgraded by making sure that they are only clay beds if we do like thatch that's not going to prevent the beds from being made to order for the building so it's not going to delay things now you did have quite a fight there to be fair uh, let's have a quick look at you shall we how are you feeling there let's check you out big you're making your way there. Pain, mild. I mean, you know, minus 14. My meal was raw. It's awfully windy. Slept in a shared bed. There is much sadness. Much sadness here. You know what, then? Let's go ahead and assign some owners. How about uh, this one's Big Al's? This one is Solwind's. We will have this one for Plumber Smack. We will also make this one for Lady Wolfheart. And finally... We will have this one for bubbles. Now, that may just take off the, the worst of the uh, shared bed penalties. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see about that one. Uh, but hopefully your, your health will recover reasonably fast. Now, Plumber Smack, I'm sort of feeling that we need to get a herbalist on the go. Now, that will in some ways be a problem, as only Soul will, Wind will then be able to mine, but it is still going to be a fairly important job, if I'm perfectly honest. So, let's go ahead and get that going. Oh, daily update. Let's have, check that out first. Uh, alas, we're ways off that, but net worth, we're going quite well. And we are going to continue to go quite well, actually. That is going to be something that uh, continues to build up. I'm going to push this to the top of this queue. I would like that done before most of the the work for our uh, our building over here, I would like to get that done as quickly as you can. Please be. Ooh, what about you? This one's fiber can be spun into thread. Oh, that's marvelous! Ooh, a farmer gems a supply card rolls into town. Well, 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 well. I think I shall. I will sell all of these. I will also sell... I could sell the hatchet if I really wanted to, but I'm not super, super big on that one. I think we'll keep hold of the hatchet, though that really does only leave us with, seven, uh, with 20 gold. Granted, we can get things for a lot cheaper here. Um, I'll take both baskets of berries, sure, and then I'll take one golden gourd basket as well. There we go. There, there, a little bit of extra food for my peeps. Uh, what we really need are more cactuses, pear cactus, specifically as pear cactus can be harvested directly for food. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scour the map looking for pear cacti to bring back. And, uh, unfortunately, it may involve a long trek for some of our people, but it'll be important to have the food right there just in front of everything. My lord, there's just nothing around. Hmm, this is going to be quite the hunt. I think, but it'll be worth it in the end, and I'll bring you back should there be something to report. Oh, the fox returns. Well, uh, we haven't even brought that first bear cactus in, but uh, this looks impressive. 
Uh, the messenger fox returns with a reply from Amira Iskander. Congratulations on your founding. Your outpost is now officially in the company ledger, and I trust that you are well on your way to becoming our primary contact in the region. To help you achieve this worthy goal, we'll be directing more of our trading partners towards your outpost in the days to come and encouraging those leaving their caravans to head to Avakin. In conclusion, uh, conversely, we expect you to start considering the next step in your outpost's evolution. Although most of our partner outposts opt to focus on trade, we think other approaches to prosperity are equally valuable to Raya's children, and it's always up to the outposts themselves to make that decision. Monkey keep you. Amira Iskander, Iskander Trading Company. P.S. A small gift for you. Well, good luck. Gold dust. Wow. Okay, that's actually not a not a small gift at all. That sounds marvelous. I must say. Right. We we've got a <laughs> a few little things on their way. But look at this. The walls are going up. Ah, oh, this is grand. I'm very 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 happy about this. Now we have got our um, herbalist staff there. So Plumber Smack, it's time for you to no longer be. Merely uh, heart of a crafter. Plumber Smack loves crafting things for others. If they don't make at least one thing that they they feel the day is wasted. Well, we're about to help you with that. Let's get you making bandages, healing potions. Also, slowly training up to become a cleric. Uh, ideally, not slowly. Oh, really? Did I interrupt you while you were on the way there? Ah, damn, Dragon Blast. How wretched. Uh, Pear Cactus. Come with me, Pear Cactus. You must live down here. We will slowly build this little garden of herbs and pear cacti. It'll be grand, I tell you. Uh, you've not healed at all. That is a little bit troubling. All right. Well, Big Al, you're off uh, off your job. And you can just focus on hauling for the time being. And good luck with that. <sighs> it's going to take us a while to get everything done. Really? Who was it? Soul Wind. Never trust the halfling, my lord. Uh, it hurts. Uh, but it's fine, it's fine. You can just pr quickly build a ladder, but you've got to constantly watch them. You think they're smart, but then they will go out of their way to prove you wrong. Also, I'm planting giant cacti, because they are comically gigantic. I approve. Uh, furthermore, do more of the harvesting, please. There we are. We've planted a couple of the seeds, and we also have... A herbalist workbench due to be put up, but that may take a little bit of time. I've got a couple of tree seeds going down as well, but generally, you know, there's always more stuff to do, and there's so much things to, for people to gather. I've given them so many jobs, I feel a little bit bad, I'll be honest with you. Uh, hopefully they'll forgive me in time. Bird Green is passing by, selling herbs. Well, I don't think we're necessarily going to need them, but, ho ho, that... I will take in a heartbeat, and I'll be willing to spend quite a lot in order to get it. Uh, sure, if someone just... Ah, uh, damn it, you didn't quite stack enough. Uh, that's fine, I'll sell one of those just to get enough. There we go, bye. Thank you enormously. Well, that will help us get some food going. We've got a berry bush, and that uh, will, as the name implies, produce berries that we can harvest reasonably quickly, and occasionally we'll get seeds so we can grow the berry bushes. That is generally the case with most things. You, you can occasionally get seeds. So anything that you can automatically replant, or rather something which you harvest um, the fruit from, but don't actually damage the plant, uh, in the, as the case is with the cacti, will occasionally drop a seed for you. And then you can use that to just replant uh, elsewhere. Uh, however, once you've got a herbalist up and running, you can bypass that by having the herbalist make seeds out of the the fruit that you might get. Hello. What? 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 You look amazing. What? Hang on a second. Plumber's Mac. Oh, that's your hood for being a herbalist. My lord. Marvellous, I must say. Oh dear. Right, invaders, where are they? Really? Right there? Well, they've snuck up on us, haven't they? Right, well, Big Al, need you down here. I'm so sorry, Big Al. You're the only fighter that we've got right now, and it can't be very much fun. But uh, you you really are our only hope. Uh, this is... this is Where is Big Al? Big Al, run! Run, Big Al! Charge! Oh, no! My herbalists are being wounded! To be fair, though, Big Al, my lord, you crossed a heck of a distance there. People were in trouble, and Big Al cared not for physics. 
His legs started working faster than they had any feasible right to work. Nevertheless, I'm not going to complain. Well done. Uh, we'll generate a little bit of wood. Not that we need that right now, but it certainly helps us out. It means we don't have to chop down our beautiful, beautiful trees in order to get everything we, that we need. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm all right with that. Uh, I really do wish we had a cook, though. It's going to be a little while before we get one of those. Now, the actual um, spread of skills and, and how the skills advance, that is based largely on uh, the mod. So this is a different skill progression chain than you'd see in vanilla. It would probably be a fair bit easier to do in vanilla, if I'm perfectly honest. But that's fine. That's what makes, uh, makes Ace more fun in many ways. Right, okay, back to building. It's going up fast, though. Oh, now we're talking. Sark Blackhammer's armory shop has arrived, and we may be able to buy some decent items. Uh, we're going to have to save up for it, or rather, we're going to have to sell a lot for it. Uh, more to the point. But we've got a couple of things that we might be able to get a little bit of money for that I'm not too um, worried about stockpiling. We're not going to sell the gold. That was a gift. That, that would be incredibly good. We do, however, have a couple of these lanterns that we can happily... Uh, get rid of there. We're up to 50. God, that's actually pretty good. We're starting to to gather a decent bit of uh, jerky now. Well, I mean, it's not the most jerky ever, but it'll do uh, in a pinch. Uh, we could sell some of the cactus logs. Uh, sure, we'll get a little bit extra for that. And then let's go ahead to buy. We've got 71. I'm thinking if we could get the, the armor, I mean, it would be nice. The bronze axe, though. No, I think we need to focus on protection right now, more than anything. Uh, can we sell anything else? Well, I guess we're going to have to just go ahead and get rid so that we can get the armor as well. There we go. Hopefully, that is going to help out a little bit. Now, daily update. Oh, we're not that far off. <laughs> Our net worth is going up rather fast. Uh, provides light protection in a fight. Every little bit helps. Class and level requirements. Equipable by footman of level 1. Type leather armor. Yes, please. Where is Big Al right now? Restocking items. Well, Big Al, I would really, really, really like you to go and uh, grab these items. Unless there is some sort of weird restriction based on the fact that you're level 2. No, please. No, no. Oh, damn it. Big Al, stop doing other work. Don't do any work for now, Big Al. Just go and equip. Become equipped. Big Al. Big Al. No, no, that, that's a... Ooh, talking about cactus monsters that you've been fighting lately. I mean, you know, that's fair. Uh, can I perhaps go into your character sheet and do this? Let's see. Is there a way that I can force you to wear stuff? That's that's what I want to know. Hmm. Doesn't appear so. That is a little bit uh, of a pain, honestly. Had a great talk. Enjoying a breeze. Well, I mean, I really would like you to equip it. I'm not going to let you have all the time off in the universe, though. Get back to hauling, I guess, but hopefully... Uh, it's probably just a case that those need to be hauled into an inventory for them to count. This is okay, I suppose. I mean, we're, we're getting there little by little. We're slowly making room. Uh, let's actually see how full are these. That's 12 of 64. Yeah, they're not particularly full. Most of these have nothing in them, so... Yeah, we should be able to, to stock up quite a lot of stuff. We're still working on plenty of trade goods, though, here and there. In fact, we've made quite a lot of healing potions, as you can see. And that is going to be a great help for us. Progress over here isn't going amazingly well. It's, you know, it's, it's getting there little by little. But Plumber's Mac has got a new level. Fantastic. Collaborative insight. The herbalist is now skillful enough to use materials created by other crafters and is also able to become a cleric. Botanical studies. The herbalist can acquire sufficient knowledge of the area to learn how to cultivate the local for flora. Fantastic. Let's go and have a look at this then. Can you make uh, the book there? We need a bolt of leather. That is going to be a little bit of a pain. Tumbleweed seeds. Only a skilled hand can harvest the weaker seeds. But the fiber is destroyed in the process. Well, that's fine. I would like you to maintain a stock of 10. It means that realistically we're going to break down 4. And we'll usually have 12 available. But that will be well worth it. And we also want uh, to maintain a stock of... Well, realistically, we don't need 10 of these, actually. Let's uh, make that five instead. There we go. Now we can get rid of that one. Let's not worry too much about that. But having five of those seeds 
around at any time will actually be quite nice for us, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite eager to do that. Uh, right. We can, at this point, start making some gentle flower vases, which is something that I would like to do. We have been using up the herbs crazy fast. It's to be expected a little bit, but uh, we'll have to see how everything else goes. Oh, you've put your stuffs on. Oh, that's fantastic. Have a look at you, big owl. Big owl, please stop. There we go. Let's have a quick gander uh, to your skill. You're up to 214 hit points now. Has that increased at all? No, I don't think so. But we've now got a grand total of five defense. That's not bad. Hopefully that's going to help you out because right now we still, we're still nowhere near having anyone else to join you in combat. And I am a little bit concerned about that. I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, let's hope that we don't lose Big Al to this. I think we desperately need these. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set up a little little path up here, I think, to uh, allow us to go and grab them. And the way I like to do this is just by drawing out a little area like so. There we are. Give us a little, little staircase up there. And resume mining. There we are. We should hopefully... Uh, that one was... It's a bit hard to see, but that one is considered a separate mining job. So we have to set them both up. But once we've got up there, I will be grabbing these. Actually, we could then go all the way up and grab these two as well. That would probably be worth it. But uh, when we're going to be able to do that, I have no idea, honestly. That may be a little bit for us, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and just dig this down like so. Actually, we'll dig the whole thing out as we're going down. There we are. And all the way over there. And then, finally, this is the last level that we don't need to dig out. There we go. And that should... Oh, no, actually, once again, we've got two separate mining areas. I was actually trying to avoid that, but uh, just to illustrate it. But that, that works. We'll be able to grab the prickly pears from there as well and then move them down. That should be quite good. But it's clear that we are, in fact, going to need many, many, many more herbs, it seems. Uh, can I place any more? There we are. Pear cactus seeds are glorious times. We are not going to have to worry about and well, we'll still have to worry a little bit about food, but you know, it's not going to be as bad. Um, there we go. And as we place these down, we'll go ahead and we'll use more of our food to make sure that we keep the stock. Now, as for these, these will allow us to get fibers. Uh, and then we will, once again, try to maintain a certain stock of the seeds. So the first four will be turned back into seeds. But, you know, four out of every six isn't isn't a bad uh, bad exchange. And, and, well, actually, it won't even happen like that because we'll end up with more seeds than we're trying to maintain. Uh, occasionally, we'll get a freebie. But uh, was that a, a, a fly somewhere? No, it doesn't look like it. I thought some of our food may have rotted. But look at this. We are almost done with the first level of walls. I'm actually very, very excited about that. We are getting there, people. A trader approaches our town. Hello, Avakin. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two, if you're interested. If you make me five clay oil lamps, I'll be back in one day. I might be able to get you one weaver's spindle in exchange. That actually sounds like a good trade. All right, the trader will be back in 24 hours. Very well, that means we're going to have to do a few things. First and foremost, I need Soulwind, our only miner, to only mine. Go forth, Soulwind, mine. Desperately need that. Uh, we're, still, we're still always just a little bit too far away. We will be there soon. With with more, more of these, we'll get that a little bit closer. We need the clay, you see, because we're kind of out of clay at the moment. And what I would like from clay... Oh, oh, an armed goblin. That is not particularly good. Now, uh, what exactly did you want? You wanted five clay oil lamps. Warm mounted clay lamps. There we are. Clay oil lamps. We want five of these. There we are. And I want them to be at the very, very top. Let's scroll all the way up there and dunk it down just about there. Okay, now then, armed goblin. Oh, hello. You've got a little flower on top. Oh, it's because you're wearing a cactus helmet. I mean, you know, makes sense. Only it doesn't. Now, that is not the only goblin camp that exists. We've got a goblin camp over there. We've also, I spotted in the, uh, the, the, the dim of night, the glow from this malevolent entity's eyes. Uh, we're not going to be playing with them at all. Not even slightly. 
If they're not somewhere where I can easily get to, I'm not going to go out of my way to get to them. That is going to be my uh, my rules for engagement for the time being, at least until we've got, for, for example, at least a cleric. Once we've got a cleric to join our footman, then maybe. Um, but I would ideally like uh, a knight, a footman, an archer, and a cleric. I My plan for the future will be to have squads of six. Two clerics, a knight, a footman, two archers. That will be the the goal that I'll be aiming for. And Plumber's Mike just got a level up. How marvellous. Item proficiency. The herbalist's medical prowess increases the eff uh, effectiveness of healing items. That's pretty cool. Also, an extra 10 HP. Well done, you. You're actually one of our top tier crafters now. Uh, more tumbleweed seeds, more prickly pear seeds. I mean, we could make wild cactus seeds as well if I really wanted to. And I'm actually going to say, yeah, maintain five of these as well. Just have, a, just have a stock of certain seeds. I think that's quite wise. We could make fertilizer if we wanted to. We don't. Not right now. Energy tonic, this will make your citizens less sleepy and move fast for a short time. That might be good. Uh, we can also make some coarse bandages if we particularly want to. Now, hmm. I'm going to say maintain... Once we've got the seeds, seeds should always be the top priority. Food seeds should be the highest of those priorities. But once you've got these, you can start maintaining a stock of other healing items. I think that would be a lovely thing to do there. But progress continues apace. We've, uh, we're have we actually now at the stage where we're filling out all the flooring. Oh, this is, this is going grand. I'm very, very excited. Very excited indeed. Also, wild silkweed. Hooray! Bubbles has achieved Potter level 4. Porcelain Wonderland. The Potter's studies and work with clay have rewarded them with knowledge enough to create valuable bone clay. The Potter can now add precious metals to vases and tiles. That is fantastic news, Bubbles! Well done! Let's have a look at what you can make. Can we make just straight up make bone clay now? Because we can make all of these wonderful things. But bone clay. Mound of bone clay. We need... Uh, good grade fuel and bones and stone and clay to make bone clay hmm. all right uh, or we can use hunker feldspar a mound of ball clay and less materials to make more bone clay okay but then we can make porcelain oh the value that would have we're not even going to begin to try and do that though i'll be honest with you and the reason for that is that i don't want us to get killed Basically, we don't want to increase our, our net worth that aggressively. It would end poorly for us, I suspect. Really, really badly. So we'll just uh, keep on keeping on. I'm trying to keep a, a bit of a low profile. I mean, a somewhat low profile. Very, very, very slightly low. But, uh, you know, once this is built, though, uh, the value of our... Wait, I mean, it's going up stupid fast right now because we're building so much, but... There's only so much we can do. And Charm Pet. The Trapper will occasionally choose to turn a particularly fine animal into a pet. Well done, Lady Wolfheart. Job on opportunities of Trapper now qualifies for advanced jobs. There we go. Now, this is where things can start getting a bit more interesting for us. Oh, the Skender Trading Caravan returns. Uh, very well. Um, let's uh, pause things down there. We could take some Frost Snap flowers um, for no other reason than to have Frost Snap, I guess. Um... I mean, they're not particularly expensive. We could do it. We could sell... Oh, we've got lots of bones. Uh, though that would be useful for bone clay. I'm not too worried about it. So, sure, we'll sell all the bones and we'll buy... One frost snap flower. Can we have... Can uh, Plumber's Mac make seeds for fro frost snap, I wonder? I thought we would be able to. Yes. Okay. I would like you to maintain five of these, please. Go ahead, and we'll order that up there. It's just a herb, but, you know, it's an extra type of herb, and you know, I'm sure we'll be able to make some really nice uh, flower arrangements with it in time. So that's good for me. Now, what I would like to do is check on our inventory of foodstuffs. What have we got? We've got a bit of jerky, some... We haven't got a lot, I'll be honest. Uh, we've, we're also seeing rotten food now. That's very unfortunate. Where was that held? Is that in... Yeah, it was in one of the bins. Well, okay. We need to do some stuff about that then. 
Uh, right, let's slow things down. Oh, the trade returns. There we go. I accept. Did we manage to get them all? I hope so. There we are. We've got a weaver's spindle. Now that is going to be quite useful for us because we can't make one of those yet. That will allow someone to get a different job. But before we even look at that, uh, where would it be? It would just be done there, so we should be able to just go straight for it. Uh, but we want to cook. But before we get there... No. <laughs> We're getting closer. Day by day. But uh, Lady Wolfheart, I'm going to ask that you stop working the uh, trapping. And we're going to make you a cook. We, we need a cook. We need to start making some of this food into better food, basically. And then we'll probably have you switching between roles fairly frequently. Uh, camp cooking. The cook can make basic nutritious recipes. Marvellous. That's what we want from you. So, let's get that going. A stone cauldron. We've got enough stone. And a stone. No, we'll get that one as well. And eventually, we will want an oven. So, as soon as you can make that, please do it. A cheese vat. That is so far down the line, we're not even going to think about it. But, we can make animal fodder. Cheap and efficient for feeding animals, even if not exactly their favourite food. You need thatch and golden gourds. That's not too bad. Um, we can make fried eggs. So, we can actually use the eggs that we've got. We can also make vegetable stew. Uh, and meat stew as well. So we've got a couple of options there uh, to make some better better foods. We can also make broth using bones and a little bit of everything else. Uh, it isn't exactly tasty, but it is very nutritious. So uh, one would hope that uh, our people would be reasonably happy with it. But the main thing we want to do is we want to stop losing food because that's what's happening there. Uh, I think it may be part of the problem is that it wasn't indoors, uh, which is uh, quite the shame, really, when you think about it. All right, let's get the stone cauldron down. We're going to have this one down there, along with the uh, the mill, and hopefully we'll be able to get this on the go. Thankfully, our peeps are actually doing a fairly good job of bringing in the materials from all over here, but that, that therein is the problem, really, with telling them to harvest anything far out there is it this always seems to be the issue they'll end up with just disparate items spread all over the place these were just tiny little things a long time ago that we we asked them to collect and yeah now we're kind of paying the price for it because they're spending so much time running around but as you can see we're on to the column section so not too far in the future we're going to start putting in the roof happy days Fried eggs. Om nom 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 nom. That is probably the first well cooked meal, or the fa rather the first cooked meal that anyone in this uh, colony has had. My meal was cooked. It comes to something when the bar is so low that it, it, it doesn't matter what the meal was, how it tasted, how it looked, how it was presented, just the fact that it was warm when you ate it. It's all that matters. Ah. Well, we are seeing that people are generally not as blue. Lady Wolfheart is, uh, is a little bit down now. Let's go and check in on Lady Wolfheart. Why, why are you so down? Slept outside. The sun's too bright. Well, I can certainly appreciate that one. But uh, we will hopefully be getting to a point where you don't have to be quite as sad. Soon-ish. Kind of soon. Maybe. Ah, so many plants. Hooray! Edgar Plankington has arrived with doors and windows for sale. Well, uh, do I actually want any? No, I don't want any of these. But I tell you what, Edgar Plankington, I may have some things for sale for you. Uh, namely these. Uh, we are actually starting to stockpile a small amount of food. It's not really amazing uh, or anything, but it's, it's definitely getting there. It's certainly better than it was. Uh, we could sell. Uh, at least, yeah, sure. We're actually making these reasonably fast now. Uh, you'll find that the gardens... The, the amount you will harvest from a garden kind of grows exponentially. The more plants you add, the faster you're gonna, gonna get. It, it, it really does get out of hand reasonably quickly. So my advice would, would be to caution restraint. Go as far as you need and no further. Uh, oh, there we go! Finally, we've got a new person! Avakin has never been happier. Let's find out who we got. Uh, Zai Mistian has joined Avakin. Let's find out about you, Zai Mistian. All right. Okay. Uh, you are a professor. Zai Mistian will help people gain experience in. Oh, well, also saving. 
in uh, the basics of their class, though their explanations tend to be a bit uh, long-winded. You have got awful stats. Uh, very low body. I mean, you're, go you're going to definitely be someone who helps around the, the town and doesn't really go anywhere else. Very well, let's uh, go first to your character sheet and get your name updated. Zai, you shall from henceforth be Little Rabbit. Welcome to the settlement, Little Rabbit. Right, as for your job, uh, honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just let you be a general uh, worker, but uh, it might be useful to have you jump into the uh, trapper profession. That being said, we could also get a cleric if we particularly wanted to by having a weaver. Okay, the, the weaving is going to be a very temporary thing. I just need a bolt of, uh, of, of leather. So we're going to get you changing profession to a weaver. We are going to plant down the necessary uh, buildings and then have you make a bolt of leather. Then make a cleric book that we might not necessarily use. It's just that we want the cleric book. Uh, so that we can have a, a cleric should the time come. Standard catalog. The weaver can now make basic hangings and decor. Marvellous. Or, or at least it will be marvellous when we've built you the tools you're going to need. So first, get me a spinning wheel. Next, get me a weaver workbench. And eventually, get me a loom as well. We'll leave all of those there. Now, bolt of leather. I would really like one of these. Now, that should stack up everything else that is going to be needed for it. Very, very useful. But as soon as we have this, we're going to be uh, swapping you back to other jobs because I I really would prefer to get, uh, get more food coming in. So close. We're almost to the point that we're going to be building the roof. Actually, really, really excited, and that isn't that isn't like desperation talking because it's been so long. No, absolutely not. Maybe a little bit, but mostly, it's I'm really excited to see how this looks. Yay! Also, really, again, no, not this time. Oh, okay, I'll let you off this once. This once. Herbalist level four. Well done, plants pack. Power medic. The herbalist can now attend to up to four halflings at a time. Well done. Uh, we're not at the stage where you can actually attend to any of them, though, unfortunately. I mean, well, you can, sort of. You will pull them back to the bed and then treat them, but it's still not really there yet for that. An impressive specimen. Uh, should we chop these down? I'm not even sure what we'll get back from them, honestly. But, uh, let's have a look. Let's find out what we get back from these giant cacti. I think it's just wood. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I think it is, in fact, wood. Yep, yep, just wood. Well, that's fine. I mean, it is a source of wood, after all, but uh, maybe we should have just left them there. Uh, I'll bear that in mind for the future. Now, the unfortunate thing about uh, the live tumbleweeds uh, is it does necessitate replanting manually, which is not the best, I'll be honest. But uh, it at least does get us um, thatch and fiber and the like, so uh, let's not complain too much about it. Uh, oh, actually, I just realized we need a new bed. Oh, dear. Let me quickly go and get one of those, maybe, shall we? Uh, we're going to need a bed, please. There we go. It's going to require clay that we don't have, so uh, that would probably be wise for us to work on. Uh, and also, that would give us an opportunity to do a little bit of uh, thatch work. Uh, ga gathering some thatch as well, since uh, I'm kind of feeling the need to dig away this top layer. And this whole area should largely be clay. I believe. So that's going to be something we work on as well. Well, this is fantastically awkward. I don't approve. I'll be honest. Uh, okay. Well, first and foremost, do we have the, the necessary equipment? Yes, we do. Okay. Quickly then, Plumbers Mac, could you please make me a cleric book? Because I've got a funny feeling you're going to be needed in a moment. The Iskander Trading Caravan returns. Uh, okay, uh, well, I'm not against this, certainly. Uh, let's see. Well, there's actually not that much here that I want. But I do have things to sell, so let's have a quick gander. Or do I? Hmm. Doesn't look like I do, in fact. Uh, well, actually, again, we can sell a bunch of that if we really want to. And I might, but for now, let's just sell the uh, animal hide, since that's... A reasonably renewable resource for the time being. There we go. Right, we have got... Uh, we're going to need need Plumber Smack, the Cleric. Plumber Smack, change jobs, please. Uh, let's get you into the Cleric role. There we are. Let's get that going. 
And then we will quickly be off to deal with this. Now, I'm just pulling down the topsoil because that should reveal the um, some thatch. Though I'm not seeing any thatch actually being generated. It may, it may really only be soil that generates it. Which is kind of a, a pain because we're short on soil supplies around this area, you may have noticed. Uh, I'm going to try and just advance this towards us being able to get up there a little bit easier, maybe. Uh, let's see. Resume mining, please. There we go. Also resume mining there. Resume mining here. I know I've actually made this job harder for myself in a way, but we'll just have to hope that that works. Right, okay, so we're going to deal with this uh, giant zombie over here. First and foremost, let's get everyone together, please. Come on. There we go. Uh, do you have your job? You should have your job turned on. There we are. And next, let's get everyone over here. The moment you spot this guy, please lay into him. Oh, look at that awesome beard, though. Well, actually, it's a little bit scraggly. Still, I feel a bit bad. Nevertheless, it has to happen. Please be with the healings. Lots and lots of them. From now on, we can actually just have Plumber Smack become a cleric whenever we need a little bit of healing for someone rather than always having Plumber Smack as a cleric. That will probably be how we do it for a little bit, at the very least. What are you doing, Plumber Smack? Why are you using your book to clobber the zombie? My goodness. Oh, there we go. We've got a second person. Hooray! This is great. I accept. Ania Dakis has joined Avakin. Well, whilst that fight's going on, uh, don't don't run towards the fight. That would be a really, really bad first day for you, I imagine. You got a lot of body. Mm. You got a bit of spirit as well. Not very much in terms of mind, though. I may just leave you doing a bit of um, just general work, but I think Ania may end up joining the joining our, our warriors. I think that may be where Aenea's calling lies. But Aenea, you shall, in fact, from henceforth, be known as a Manu Varan... You always say this wrong. Uh, but Manu! There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the colony, Manu. There we are. Let me just double check that I've spelt your name correctly. That would be a little bit of an embarrassment now, wouldn't it? But it wouldn't be the first time I've done it wrong. There we go. Yes, everything is fine. You may go along and uh, help out with a bit more building. We're starting to get places now. I am very, very happy with this. All right. And then after that, I would like this chest broken into. Though it is so pretty. Uh, what did we get? We got a steel ingot. Uh, you know what? That isn't so bad. Uh, I don't mind that too much. Well done, Plumber Smack. That was fantabulous. Uh, talking to Big Al. Well, that's great. Now you're idle, though, so you can go back to being a herbalist. Which our little uh, town of Avakin has significantly more use for, let's be perfectly honest there. Right, okay, well, uh, that was good. The, the uh, outside of the roofs are more or less done. It's taken a little bit of time, but you know, we're getting there. Little by little, I think the clay... Well, actually, no, most of this should be clay bricks. But if we have a look in here, we can see what is missing. Now we've got all of the wood, we've got all of the clay bricks we need. We then just need to start actually placing down the uh, the actual clay uh, furnishings and decor items. We've even already put in some of the windows. Oh, wow. I... Oh, no, wait, wait. That That's a lie. That, that's very wishful thinking on my butt. But we'll get there in the end. Neural approaches without his caravan. Hello again. This time I'm visiting on a more official capacity than usual, and without my trading goods. We at the Iskender Trading Company are very impressed with your outpost's progress and have decided that it's time to officially update your member status to that of settlement. Before we can do that, though, it is customary to choose a hearth to represent your, own, your town. Thank you! As you know, hearths have been the cornerstone of settlements all the way back to the Phoenix Empire. If not for their glow, Rhea's children's caravans would never find their way in the desert, and our society would have scattered long ago. The type of hearth also says much about what a settlement values. Values? For instance, a hearth of cheer is for those who believe that a town's value is found in being a happy home for its citizens. That does sound quaint. A hearth of makers, on the other hand, is for those who believe that a town's value is its work, and that its work is best measured in gold. Sounds productive. Finally, a hearth of glory 
I'm going to pause that there because there's some messages. Uh, it's for those who believe that there comes a time when the negotiations no longer suffice and the land has to be protected by force. Sounds heroic. Cheer, glory, or makers. The choice is entirely yours. Think of what matters most to your settlement and follow that beacon into the future. Well, and Big Al has achieved Footman level 3. Thank you so much for just talking with Big Al into him being a level 3 footman because that is amazing. Oh my lord, you can now become an archer. All right, academy graduate. The footman has finished their combat training and can now seek new opportunities. Uh, power spike. This powerful overhead swing deals double damage and you've gained some health. This is glorious. All right, official settlement declaration. Now, the half of cheer. Prove that you have happy, well-fed citizens and a nice place for them to live. Boosts a daily update net worth based on the overall morale of your citizens. Each day brings a new random buff to your townsfolk. The half of makers. Proof that gold has been flowing through your settlement and that you have fine crafters. Generates 5% daily interest on any gold coins you have on hand. Boosts your daily update net worth based on gold coins on hand. And then the half of glory. Proof that you have a military strength and that you're prepared to keep it on its feet. Allows summoning increasingly difficult enemies to prove your mettle. Each rank defeated will boost the daily update net worth. Now, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of the Half of Cheer, but we definitely are doing well in terms of crafting and making money. Still, the Half of Cheer, I feel that getting a Half of Makers wouldn't be hard for us to do. Whereas the Half of Cheer would be the harder thing for us to, to achieve, but perhaps more rewarding. Hmm. Yes, actually. Also, the idea of, of there being different buffs every day. That sounds quite cool. Okay, all citizens are at least content. Six of seven. Okay. Five citizens are at least merry. Zero of five. Prepared food. Four of twenty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to take us a while. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, all right. Well, that's what we need to look into. Oh, finally, though. Finally, we can look into the weenie. No, I suppose that's not too bad. But we can now have oh, a goblin sneaks in. You lie. They've been they've been uh, quote unquote sneaking into camp up there for a long while. But it's finally time for us to have Big Al switch over to an archer. Let's go ahead, get you into archery. In honor of steadfast efforts and resilience, we hereby advance Big Al. There we are. I approve. Let's get that going. Now, that does mean we no longer have a footman, but we do have a, a new citizen who could be that footman. Bigal is now a level one archer. An archer can use archery targets to train their pre uh, precision and earn experience up to job level three. That would be quite useful, yes. But for the time being, no. Now, unfortunately, Big Al has had to drop all of their gear, but that is fine. Manu, you're immediately becoming our new footman. Let's get you down there. Ooh, someone's got a title. Bubbles has achieved a new title. Let's go and check that out. Uh, Bubbles is now Bubbles Prolific Crafter. They crafted a hundred items. Doesn't that title have a nice ring to it? You can select which title one of your citizens is using by right-clicking their name in the character sheet or selecting the unit window. There we go. Prolific Crafter. That's fantastic. Well done, Bubbles. Man who's now a level one footman. There we go. What? Oh, you just grabbed all of the gear. Well, yeah, that well, works, actually. Uh, Footman knows all, that all combat may have mortal consequences and attacks with renewed determination. Marvellous. Right, well, we've got a, a small, a budding military. But for now, we need neither of you doing any work. But we've also got a, a cleric in, uh, in reserve. Ah, oh, look at that. Marvellous. I'm liking it. Ah, oh, so happy. They look, they look happy. I think they look happy at the very least. Except you, all, all droopy and, and a little bit sad. Never mind you guys. We're getting there though. It won't be long before the building is built. Okay, Verd Green's Verdant Greenery is dropping by. Has uh, some things for sale. Violet seeds and snow poppy seeds. I would like both, actually. Uh, I accept. I also accept all of those. Uh, we've also got Highland Pine seeds. Um, I don't actually care too much for those ones. But uh, definitely the violets. Let's go ahead and plonk those down. Uh, I would very much like to keep these going. Violets are one of the flowers that your mason can use to make their 
the um, flower arrangement. It does seem to have to be violets, though, which is a little bit of a pain, but, uh, and, and, you know, we can forgive it. I will place down that cherry bush, even though I don't particularly want to uh, have more, too many more flowers, but it's important, I think. Also, we're going to need another bed, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. Let's get uh, the other bed being made right now. Go ahead and craft this as soon as you can. And we'll get that all the way up to the top. We definitely still need quite a lot more um, clay, though. And for some reason, we're just not mining the clay around here. I don't know why. It's a little bit vex vexing, I'll be honest. Uh, I may have to be a little bit more aggressive with this. So let's uh, see if I can't sort this out. But first, we've got a new person. Well, wow, I'm going to need two new beds. I'm not actually mad about that. I'm fairly happy with it. Yes, they may join. Uh, Kenka Kualdim has joined Avakin. Hello. You are in a place that is reachable, which is always a good start. Another person who would be decent in a military. Possibly decent as a cleric. Decent body. Very good spirit. Not a particularly well-learned individual, but uh, not a bad choice either all right bearing that in mind i'm actually not going to have plumber smack become a full-time cleric i would actually prefer to have two uh two herbalists instead so we're just going to set up another herbalist staff to be made it's going to take us a little bit of time obviously because we do lack uh clay but it'll be made eventually and we also need to increase that uh, unfortunately uh all the things i need to do for this town i don't know hmm some soldiers in training are passing by and uh have a bow for say i think i will accept since we're not going to be able to make those for a while i could have also bought the shield for the same reason actually oh hello well uh time for our military to get a bit of uh training i guess uh, right, we're going to need Plumber Smack to change jobs and go ahead and be a cleric again. Let's get you going. There we are. And I guess at this point, let's see, have we got the... Yes, we do. We have the Herbalist staff for you. Also, I just noticed I forgot to name you. My bad. I do apologize. Let's get you a new name. You shall be Obsidian Mist. Welcome to Avakin Obsidia. There we go. Marvellous. Right, let's get our, our military on the move. Just as soon as Plumber Smack has become a... Oh, let's get rid of that. We don't need to see that one. Just as soon as Plumber Smack... There we are. Has become a cleric. Marvellous. Right, let's get you all the way down there, please, everyone. Actually, let's make you rally over here first. That should be a little bit better. There we are. And then over here. And finally, let's have an attack move right there. Okay, let's see how this one goes down. Why did you walk all the way over there? But what? Really? Uh, oops. Oh. Oh, yes. My bad. <laughs> ah, what, what, a, what a bear brave cleric. <laughs> the only one trying to fight the zombie is the cleric. I mean, I guess it sort of works, but uh, it's not going to work out particularly well. Uh, there we go. <laughs> My bad, everyone. That was that was on me. Oops. Basically. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, you've healed yourself up. That's very nicely done. Um, let's see how quickly we can tear you down. Shouldn't take us too much effort. And there's a potion there. Oh. Gold ore. Now, that is actually quite good. I'll be honest. I'm reasonably happy about that one. Uh, Plumber Smack, could you go back to being a herbalist, though? Uh, again, I just need that a little bit more. Oh, actually, I could have you be a trapper for the time. That might also be useful. However, I would like to get you up to the top tier of herbalism. Um, no. Go for the trapper for the time being. Plumber Smack's going to have a little bit of a spread of abilities. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of worth there. Yes, I accept the new settler. 
Plumber Smack is now a level one trapper. Well done, Plumber Smack. Uh, enjoy. Now, who did we just get? We have got Kasar Tagiri. Five mind, four body, one spirit. So you are honestly not the best crafter because you will have a very low chance of ever making anything particularly um, spectacular, but maybe a good role for something like a trapper, a shepherd, or a farmer, because I don't believe they make um, uh, high-tier items in quite the same way. At any rate, though, you are just going to be uh, working out for, for now as a, uh, a, a uh, basic labourer. You shall be Casey. Welcome to the uh, to the colony, Casey. Enjoy your stay. As you can see, we have finished the roof. The roof is done. Now we are working on putting in all of the windows. Now this part is going to take us quite some time. Hopefully also the beds as well. Now if we uh, pull that down, we'll see that things are going to be going up inside very soon. Ah, oh, we are so close. So incredibly close. I can practically taste it. Ah, uh, I am really, really excited to get this uh, sorted because it has taken a long while. We're going on towards an hour and a half of recording now, but uh, we're getting there. Okay, Vert Green's Verdant Greenery has come to deliver carrot seeds. Um, yeah, actually, I think we should probably buy all of them. And then see what we can sell, because we are starting to acquire a reasonable amount of things worth selling. Uh, let's have a quick look. We're starting to stockpile food at this point, which is really quite grand. I'm going to sell the basic um, basic veggies. We're gathering them at a reasonable pace. Still, that may have been a bit of a bit of a bold move. Uh, we'll sell some of my bandages as well, and generally, we'll just uh, allow the rest to move forward. We have got a decent, oh, well, we did have a decent amount of ball clay. We do seem to be using it to just make whatever, but by using ball clay, I think it's a slightly higher quality resource, so we have a better chance of making a good window, etc., etc., out of that. As you can see, all of the, well, by the looks of it, all of the tall windows are done. Let's have a quick look at where we stand with all of that. Yes, all, oh no, sorry, we scrolled down. All of the tall windows are done. We are now working on all of the fence posts, so there are another 14 to go. Then we'll be working on the blue doors, then the 40 windows. Uh, it's going to take quite a lot of work to get all of that done. We've got a lot of clay we're going to need to gather up, and unfortunately we're not getting too much of it from our little mine over here. That is going to be uh, a continuing problem. However, we are getting quite a lot of bones, so at the very least, our, our cook has got plenty of stuff to do. And we have got another person. This is fantastic. Only, in a way, it possibly isn't. Bogdan. Is that, it is literally Bogdan. How marvellous. Hello, Bogdan. Let's have a quick look at you. Now, Bogdan. 3, 2, 1. Mm, fairly low. All things considered there, I'll be honest with you, uh, it's not exactly the best. Actually, at this point, we've got so little building to do, we can afford to allow everyone to do it. But Bogdan, let's go ahead and get your name changed. Where are we going to put you? I'm not sure. You're going to remain as a basic worker for now. And your name shall be Darius. Welcome to Avakin, Darius. We are getting quite the uh, collection of halflings. At this point, I'm reasonably pleased with that. One, two, three, four, we've got eight. So we need another two beds, please, and thank you. Uh, made quite swiftly, if you could. I could make it out of stone, but then it would all be a little bit uh, a little bit messed up, because I need I need two, and I need them to look all the, the same as all the others. Though we are starting to place down really high-quality beds at this point, which is kind of, kind of cool. Uh, right, there we go. Where is this goblin? Let's have a quick look. Another armed goblin right up there. And it's going to probably continue to be the case. Is that coal or is it just something we, we haven't seen yet? It could honestly be something we haven't seen yet, but at the same time... No, that's coal. That's just a different colour of rock for the looks of it. That's uh, iron. We are getting to a point where we're going to be able to dig down into some copper over there, which is going to be interesting. But as we get more and more general workers, everything moves forward a little bit faster. As I said at the beginning of this episode, I wanted to finish this off. Now, it, it is a little bit of stubbornness at this point that is driving me to continue, because this episode is going to be quite long. It's certainly been quite a long time to record. Maybe in the future I won't be quite as uh, bloody-minded, but I, I refuse to allow this building not to be finished now.
Damn it. Also, well done, man. Lady Wolfheart has achieved a cook level two. It took us quite a while, though, to get the ingredients necessary for her to cook that many things. The cook has learned to make slightly fancier recipes and can now build an oven, allowing them to create baked goods as well. Well, that is truly marvelous. Uh, additionally, we just built our very first archery target. All right. Now, by placing that, whenever that gets broken, we'll just automatically queue up another one. And a caravan from a nearby convent has arrived. Uh, okay, well, let's have a look at what we got. I mean, we could plant some daisies because they'll just grow wildly for a time. Uh, but instead, I think we are going to sell some things. We've got 20 potions and we're easily going to make enough bandages to uh, take care of there. Uh, do we have anything else we can sell? No, nothing else for sale at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine overall. Uh, we could buy some mushroom omelets. Uh, no, actually, let's just go for the cheapest thing. Let's not, not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, chanterelles, sure, we'll buy all of those. We'll also get the parasols and additionally the basket of uh, bolets. There we go. Some mushrooms for the road. Uh, there we are. Fantastic work there. Right, we should see goblin thieves up top there. Uh, we need to get up there at some point and just get rid of them. They're causing me no end of trouble. I tell you, no end of trouble. Uh, right, we're going to need a new bed, though, aren't we? Yes, we should already have it ready for placing down. Uh, we do not have it ready for placing down. Well, that is marginally frustrating. Uh, why do we not? Should it that not have been made already and stored? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. We definitely need those beds, so... Uh, I guess we're gonna queue them up again, but that does seem like they it went missing somewhere. Oh well. I suppose there's worse things that could have happened. Let's uh, continue drawing this up. Oh! I'll tell you what happened. They immediately placed the bed down. Ah, oh, drat. Damn drat and blast. They're stealing my beds. We're gonna have an excess of beds now. That's frustrating. Oh well. I guess there are worse things. And so Wind has achieved Mason Level 4. Flake Refinement. The Mason has enough skill to refine gold ores or ingots into beautiful and useful gold flakes. That's actually pretty cool because we've got it. The Mason ventures from the realm of the functional into art. Well done, Soul Wind. You haven't let us down. Also, we've got a lot of food all of a sudden. Uh, our settlement is, is growing into a vast settlement before we've even got our first building. We are now very much past the point where we can actually home all of the people that we have allowed to join. I somehow knew this was gonna happen, and yet I'm still surprised. <sighs> okay, Kenak uh, Sharak. Oh, uh, sorry, Kenka Sharak, my apologies. Uh, let's get you a name that you shall be Aquatami. There we go. My goodness, this one episode has named so many people. Uh, right, well, I am inclined to have you continue to help out around the, the the base with mining and building wherever possible please oh, there we go. Go to bed. let's get this down before something nabs it there we are and another one as well haha -ha! right we just need one more and yet another person joins avakin this is going quite amazing uh we are going to cancel this removal oh too late damn it now, you might be wondering why I was removing the bed. Well, I will show you in just a moment. Tia Sharak has joined Avakim. Let's uh, pause that there. We've got an armed goblin and some invaders. Uh, that is probably something that we need to deal with right now. Uh, Tai Sharak, uh, 161. Uh, you probably would be okay in the military. I'll be honest with you. Uh, we will have you not doing any of that. You, you'll mine for now. Tai Sharak, let's find out your true name. Your name is, in fact, Jin. There we go. Welcome, Jin. Let's uh, get you to your job. Now, invaders approaching, wrong side of the river, and a goblin all the way up here doing goblin -y things. That's fine. Uh, we have set up a large amount of this area to be mined at this point. It is, oh, and of course, they're messing up the stairs, as they always do. But uh, we have got a lot of this place built. Now, if we slice it down, you'll notice that the beds have all been placed. And so people now have their own bedrooms. This is where they're going to go now. 
And as each room is further completed, it's going to get nicer and nicer and nicer in here. Some of them have all of their windows even, which is actually quite impressive. Honestly, we're working on the blue doors, as you can see. And let's have a... Or rather, we have worked on all of the blue doors. I think we're currently working on the windows themselves. Let's have a quick look. Yes, we are. We've got quite a few to go, but uh, we are getting... The, the finish line is in sight, and I'm oh so happy about that. A trader approaches your town. Hello, Avakeen. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. If you make me 16 clay oil lamps, I'll be back in one day and might be able to get you 12 potters cut. What? That is a ridiculously bad deal. No. You're a scoundrel. You're a scoundrel for even suggesting such a deal. My goodness. Also, look at all this clay. Good times. The Iskender Trading Company returns marvellous, as I do need more shields. Let's buy both of those. <gasps> A farmer's hoe! The best thing ever to see. Oh my lord, yes. I accept everything. I will sell everything in order to get that. Oh, that is grand. Okay, well, food is no longer an issue for us. I am fantastically happy with that acquisition. My goodness, that is good. Very, very, very good indeed. Uh, right, well, given that then, we probably are going to get uh, Darius, I'm thinking, to become a farmer. Yes, indeed. Uh... Yes, I think so. Bubbles is currently just working on on building the remaining items that we need, but Darius... Well, actually, no, we've got to wait. Drat. We have to have a trapper. Oh, no, no, we don't. It's the shepherd or the cook that the trapper has to become. Right, okay, well, uh, Darius, welcome to being a farmer. Oh, this is grand. We are doing rather well for ourselves, I must say. We have, however, reached the point where our net worth is no longer enough to get new people. And there's a little part of me that's actually kind of glad about that. But there we go. Darius is now a farmer. Now, being a farmer with Ace Mod comes with a few caveats. Water is now much, much more important than it used to be. But first, uh, well, you know what? Sure. Let's uh, let's have a little, little patch down here. Uh, let's go for 10 by 5. There we go. Yes. I would like golden gourds. Preferred seasons of winter and autumn. Good. We're going to be in there. Much prettier than it is tasty. Very well. Uh, growth time. Uh, sunlight needs. This crop will grow a little faster with at least 80% to daytime sunlight. This crop matures quickly. One day and six hours before modifies. Uh, this crop prefers autumn season and will grow more slowly outside uh, or winter. Uh, current statuses, relative growth time, environmental factors make this crop grow 9% slower than normal. And current sunlight causes it to grow. Uh, this crop is currently experiencing 62% daytime sunlight. This considers both shade and current weather state. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And we'll have another one just over there. There we go. And that will be exactly the same. There we are. That should be grand. Now, you notice little, this little bounding box. That tells you where it can draw water from. And so what we want to do to add a little bit of a, uh, a little area around this so that uh, we've got some irrigation going on. There we are. And both of them should be able to draw from there. Now this will drop the, the water volume in a lake. I'm not sure how it's going to affect a river though. It might not affect a river's water um, particularly uh, badly. We'll see. Uh, but I'm super, super duper happy about that. That's one of the big things, again, the blacksmith uh, unlocks is the hoe, or perhaps it's the carpenter. But either way, it's not a normal thing for us to have. And I am fantastically happy that we have it. I am super, super happy with that one. That was a great acquisition. Oh, do we really need more food? No, we don't. We are drowning in food. Oh, how times have changed. Bubbles has reached craft, uh, Pottery Crafter level 5. The potter can now create items of excellent quality and will make fine quality items more often and has gotten more health. Well done, Bubbles. I think that may... No, you've still got level 6 to go. Let's uh, have a quick look at what you'll get at level 6, though. Uh, if we have a look at job abilities, at level 6 you will have Shaping the World. The potter's hands are capable of giving shape and life to clay like no other, creating beautiful works, especially with porcelain. Well, they are. Seems reasonable. 
Uh, to be fair, Bubbles has done ridiculous levels of work uh, and has gotten a new title for herself. Well done, Bubbles. Let's have a look at that. What title did you get? Bubbles is now Bubbles the Multi-Crafter. They crafted 200 items. Well done. I approve. That is uh, quite uh, a hefty task and did uh, done all on your own. But as you can see, we have not got very many of these windows left to go. And then it is on to the fences. We are so close. I can feel it. It haunts me. Teases me. It haunts me from the shadows. But soon, soon it will be mine. And once more, we have a new settler. Oh my lord. Malik uh, Qualdim has joined Avakin. Hello. Let us have a look at you then, shall we? Uh, let's open up your character sheet. 554. Five, that's actually quite good. Uh, I'll be honest, that's that's quite a nice one. You shall be Tomcat. Hello, Tomcat. Welcome to Avakin. Uh, for the time being, however, Tomcat, you are going to be a general worker because, honestly, that is what we have the need for at the moment. And I think that may well be the last window to go into place. Have we got any more windows on this side? I don't think so. I think all the ones on this side have been done. Oh, -ho. does that mean we're now onto the fences? Let's have a look. It does indeed. So close. A trader approaches your town. Hello, Avakin. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. If you make me five clay oil lamps, I'll be back in one day. I might be able to get you four curtains. That's actually pretty good because those curtains will help a couple of the rooms. I like that, especially because I'm going to have to revise my uh, my plans for some of the rooms. Now, this also offers me an opportunity to just uh, showcase something. We're going to make five of these. I believe uh, it was five. Is that right? Let's just double check. Yes, five play all lamps. If we hold down shift when we click on this, it should go straight to the top of the list. There we go. Marvelous. Now, the thing I wanted to showcase. Uh, we're going to slice this down to the lower levels. There we go. He's given everything. I think we're going to have to move a couple of these beds. I'm sorry, I know that you all really like the idea of having your own rooms, but needs must. Thank you. So we're going to move a couple of the beds in here. You're going to have bunk mates. It's going to be grand. Let's just get them inside. Now, I am a little bit concerned that this may cause some issues with the game when it comes to uh, completing the build. It might complain that since there are things in there that weren't as part of the spec it might not allow me to complete it if that happens that would be quite quite frustrating honestly um i can't even really find a good place for that one but uh, that should do there we go get you across it as well we'll just have you popped in there now that is going to mean that well a couple of these rooms aren't going to be quite as awesome as they used to be still i am hopeful that uh this will generally make oh, really? okay that was not going down for some reason i'm not quite sure why i'll give it one more try uh there there we go marvelous all right let's have a quick ga oh, did they actually go down or did they fail they may have failed oh they did well that's annoying well okay We'll we'll redress that in the future. I guess that is uh, an answer to the question then. No, you can't place them in there just yet. But that is going to be the plan from now on. Because we've got a lot more people in the colony than I had hoped to have initially. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, actually, no, everyone seems to have these. It seems to remember who owned them. That's pretty cool, I'll be honest. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. That's uh, really, really, really funky. Now, we, are, we have brought in our first harvest. We haven't yet dug out uh, a little channel though which is a bit of a shame but uh, something we can live with we are starting to see spoilage and that does bug me quite a lot actually but there's not a lot that we can do about it right now uh, let's have a look you'll be back in 15 hours and we will have the clay lamps how are we doing with half a chair well all of our citizens are at least content we however have no citizens at mary uh, hopefully that will change when we've got this building fixed and people can stop working like dogs to try and get it finished. Hopefully. Myself included. Darius is on his way to a, a high level farm right in the moment. We've got Bountiful Harvest. The farmer coaxes up to 25% greater yield from each plot. That is quite good, I must say. Now, with that in mind, can we get different crops here? Oh, we can. We can get cactus flowers, which have medicinal properties. Or cotton. Now, that 
is particularly important. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up two fields for cotton. One there and one over here. As that is going to keep our weavers going for quite some time. There we go. Let's get both of those nailed down. Wonderful. We are then, of course, going to want to uh, get this done. And you know what? I just realized why that hasn't already been done. It's because I forgot to do this. Resume mining. I am such a derp. I thought that my uh, mason just had too many jobs. A goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into town. Oh, no. <sighs> you got supplies? We take. We good? We have understanding? Three mounds of clay, ten pear cactus seeds, and eight spools of thread. Uh, do I want to fight Chieftain Crew Armguard? I don't even have our, our main building built yet. No, we don't. I accept. So eight spools of thread you need, ten pear cactus seeds, and three mounds of clay. Satisfy the goblins. Me back soon for stuff. Bad habit, or no good for you, little halfling. Well, I mean, we've got all of those. Pear cactus seeds we need a little bit more, and definitely spools of thread. Well, that is going to necessitate uh, one thing in a particular. Now, honestly, Tomcat... Uh, and by the way, I have updated Tomcat's name. Uh, you wouldn't be bad as a an actual crafter. Your body's probably a little bit higher than I would like for that, but uh, you know what, Tomcat? No. We're going to get you to be our weaver. There you go. Let's get you set up. Especially now we're going to have cotton. It makes a lot of sense in a way. Right, then, Tomcat, as soon as you've uh, done that, we're going to get you to start making the spools of thread, because we're going to need them. Uh, oh, well. Uh, there we go. Tomcat is now a level one weaver. Well done. You. We want to keep a certain amount of spools of thread in the uh, in the colony at all times. And following that, we're going to want ten of these. But we're not going to add those just yet. That would be dumb. Uh, especially while we're waiting for for uh, to satisfy this demand. Now, oh, we've already got the mounds of clay. The pear cactus seeds, though, that's going to be a little bit more tricky. Uh, Alright, so let's get those done. Can we do it is the question. I think we should be able to. We can make an awful lot of things at this point. We can even make ca uh, cactus flower seeds. Now, these are regional seeds. We can sell those effectively. If you were playing this in a um, in multiplayer, then you could trade those with one of your allies, thereby allowing them to have... Where did that go? Oh, it went all the way up there. That's fine. Oh, God, that down there. There you go. Uh, you could trade them with your ally, who perhaps is Ascendancy and wouldn't have cactus flowers as something they could naturally grow. Which would actually be quite cool. Uh, trade or gift to allow other cultures to cultivate cactus flowers. Uh, domesticate cactus flower and learn how to farm them ourselves. You know what? Sure. The crate must be placed on the ground before it can be used. I'll craft one. That's the first time I've ever done that, actually, so it'll be quite fun. Uh, is everything else going okay in here? Yes. Generally speaking, it is all going quite, quite well. We're even starting to dig out the irrigation. And Lady Wolfhart has reached a level 4 cook. Healthier diets. The cook has mastered the abilities necessary to create more diverse and specific foods, particularly specific rations for different animals. The cook can now make and work with sugar as well, which is actually quite amazing. So close. So close. Are we done? No. We're still uh, a few away, but we're very close now. Getting even closer by the second. I, as you can see, have decided to uh, do away with the central uh, open stockpiles in favor of chests. There's really no reason for us not to at this point. All right, there we go. Our farms are, well, they will be ready soon enough. Uh, where is Darius? Darius, you're eating a bowl of broth. Well, then you carry on. If that's what you want to do, Darius, I'm not going to tell you to stop. But I would like you to do it a little bit faster, if you could. We've almost cleared up everything over here as well. That's actually particularly impressive. I've, I've got to be honest, we've, we've managed to clear up all the mess that we were making, which was quite significant. We have stopped getting new uh, migrants for now, but food-wise we could easily get a lot more. And that may be a little more than we bargain for, I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, let's move these down. Now, generally speaking, we're not actually that worried about food. Now that we've got farmers, we don't need this large patch here, but if nothing else, it is keeping us going with herbs. And at the end of the day, we can always sell on a lot of the uh, produce here 
uh, to, to uh, visiting traders, which is actually pretty good. Now, a lot of these beds will also be very useful as uh, traveler beds. Now, travelers, uh, if anyone has watched any of my RimWorld series where I've had hospitality, it is very much like that. You get random people who will come along to uh, say hello, and if they like what they see when they leave, they will leave a little gift in the form of, of some random item. They will also purchase things from any particular market stalls that you've marked for them, or rather trade cabinets, I guess you could say. Market stalls are a specific item that we will cover in po quite possibly the next episode. But this one is, oh, there we go, all about this. Finally, we have finished. It is done. Everyone, oh, the confetti, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you all like it. Finally, it is done. Look at it. It looks marvellous. It has taken me the whole of two and a half hours to complete. My goodness, that was uh, was a trial. Not gonna lie. Right, let's move this. We want the uh, the fireplace up here. Let's uh, yeah, sure. Let's have it kind of in the middle there. Oh dear, can we not send? Oh, well, that is. Up at my plans a little bit, I'll be honest with you. Why? <laughs> Damn it all. Of course, I didn't make it odd. I made it even. What a crazy fool I am. A mad fool. Well, I guess we're gonna have a central square with. Uh, you know what? That doesn't actually. That doesn't actually uh, cause too much of an issue. Uh, I had been considering building sort of like a plaza and having the uh, the town centre there. Uh, but this will still be the town hall for all intents and purposes. And to that effect, I am going to move our flag inside. I don't want it uh, outside. But this will also allow me to uh, summon everyone inside should there be any particular problems. They can, they can all head indoors. Uh, we can perhaps have it up there for for now, just for the sake of it. We'll just move it over there. But what have we got? A trader approaches your town. Seven large urns. I'll be back in uh, four decorative vases. That's actually not a bad deal, I think. Uh, it'll take a little while before they return. Seven large urns. I'm going to queue that up before we wrap up this episode. Oh my lord, it has been a long one. So let's get seven of those made, please, and indeed, thank you. There we go. Well, that will be grand. And that is it. For today's episode bit of a long one again do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the editing style i'm not sure how much of the recording is going to make it into the episode given how long the recording has been going on for but i do hope that you have enjoyed the episode and uh, look forward to your feedback but until next time and as always do take care everyone